Welcome to the tutorial on using Google SketchUp. When you first open SketchUp, you need to select the template that you wish to use. Click Choose Template. And by default it opens on feet and inches. Make sure you choose meters. Then untick always show on startup. And click start using SketchUp. And your Google SketchUp world opens. Along the top here is your basic toolbar set. If you click on the hand, you can use that to rotate your world. So I can rotate it up, down, left and right. Next to the pan tool we have the orbit tool. Click on that. And now we can hold the left mouse key down again to rotate around a point. I'll show you again later when we've got an object. We also have the zoom tool. Click on the magnifying glass. And this one, if you have a scroller mouse, you can use that to zoom in and out. Or left mouse key. Right, well let's get drawing. Click on the plane tool. Then holding your left mouse key down, draw your plane. Just drag it out. And now we can click on the push pull tool. And when you see the little dots appear, that means that surface is active. Again, hold the left mouse key down and pull up. And you'll see now that our 2D object has become a 3D object. Again, when you bring your mouse over the surface, the dots indicate that it is now active. And you can hold the left mouse key down and extend this way as well. OK, so let's click on the Orbit tool. Hold left mouse key down, drag it around to get different views, pan, just bring it across. OK, let's go ahead and add some features. Select the rectangle tool. And while we're here, I'll just show you these interesting points. The dot will turn green if you're at an end point, red if you're on an edge, blue if you're at the midpoint, red for the edge, green for the end point. I'm just going to click on the edge and release. Again, select the Push Pull tool. And when your surface is active, you can pull it out or push it in. I'll leave it pulled out. And we can do it again on the other side. Click on the Rectangle tool. Draw your shape. Click on Push Pull and drag it out. Let's orbit a bit and I'm going to zoom out. Huh. 
Okay, so I'm going to make my larger rectangle just a bit higher. I can also manipulate the lines of my object. So I'm going to click on the Move tool, select a line, it goes blue when it's active, and just slide that down a little bit. So now the roof is sloping. This time I'm going to use the Pencil tool, so click on the pencil. Along this line, again, you have green for the end point, red for the edge, and blue for the midpoint. I'm going to select the midpoint and draw across to the other midpoint. Use the same move tool. Hover over and pull up. And you'll see I now have a pitched roof. So if, now if we click on the Orbit tool, we can have a good look at what we've done. Zoom out a little. And rotate. So we've started with cubes and have changed their shape somewhat. Okay, let's do something else. We'll click on the Offset tool, draw a rectangle in here, I can click on the Push-Pull, raise the outside. If you're not happy with something, press Ctrl Z. I'm going to raise the inside. And the next thing I want to do is in a different toolbar, click View, Toolbars, Large Toolset. Right, I'll just orbit that a little bit. OK, now click on the Pencil tool, and I'm going to draw a line from the edge to the edge to cut a corner, and now select the Follow Me tool. Make your corner active, and then holding the left mouse key down, you're going to drag to each corner. and release. Now if we orbit that, you'll see that I have cut an edge off the whole way around. Again we can extend this roof. and make a more complicated roof pattern. So click on the pencil tool. And I'm just drawing triangles from the corners to the roof line. Now I use the eraser tool get rid of those little lines there. Right, I'll just move that down a bit. Now 
then click on the move tool select the middle line and pull the roof up let's have a look And there we have our first object in SketchUp. Well, that should be enough for today. I hope you have fun playing with SketchUp, and I'm sure you can find many cool things to do in it.